In recent years, the amount of fascinating discoveries we have made in space has been incredible. From black holes to potential life on Mars, we really have been digging through space with a fine-tooth comb. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we'll be taking a look at three incredible discoveries in space. Abel 85 Galaxy Black Hole A black hole is essentially a region or place in space where the gravity is so strong that even things like light, radiation or practically any particles cannot escape it. Black holes are thought to be created when a star dies. Black holes can be a variety of sizes, the biggest being a supermassive black hole. These are actually quite terrifying to think about. They have a mass equal to that of millions of suns which is astronomical. These supermassive black holes are at the center of large galaxies across the universe. Our own galaxy, in fact, has one at the center that is known as Sagittarius A. Scientists have found that its mass is the same as around 4 million of our own suns. Black holes themselves cannot be seen due to the fact that no light can escape them, however. Scientists can study how the surrounding area and stars, for example, and that indicates the location of a black hole. Late last year, the Max Planck Institute for Extraterrestrial Physics found what is currently thought to be the largest black hole in the nearby universe. When observing the Abel 85 cluster, a cluster of roughly 500 galaxies, and more specifically the galaxy at the very centre of the cluster known as Holm 15a, scientists noticed that the centre of this galaxy was much more faint than it should normally be considering the sheer mass of stars within the galaxy. This was what indicated the presence of a never-before-seen black hole. After attempting to measure the mass of said black hole, the scientists discovered the estimates were much larger than thought, and in fact, this black hole, now dubbed an ultra-massive black hole, has a mass of around 40 billion times that of our Sun. That is a staggering number, and there's no real way to comprehend something of that scale. However, it is fascinating nonetheless. You might be wondering how something as massive as this ultra-massive black hole could even exist within a galaxy, given the size of our own. Well, Holm 15a is a giant galaxy known as an elliptical galaxy. An elliptical galaxy is formed when a spiral galaxy, such as our own, the Milky Way, merges within another spiral galaxy. It goes further though, as this newly formed elliptical galaxy can then merge with another elliptical galaxy, creating an even bigger galaxy. When these galaxies merge together, the black holes in their centres can also merge and exactly like the galaxies themselves, create an even larger black hole and so on. When these black holes collide and get larger, it can push stars away forming the darker centre. This is how the scientists discovered the Holm 15a black hole. While the Holm 15a black hole is the most massive in the nearby universe, being only 700 million light years away from us, there is evidence of an even larger black hole located around 10 billion light years away from Earth in the Tun 618 quasar. This ultramassive black hole is estimated to have the mass of around 66 billion times that of our Sun. Starless exoplanets may orbit black holes. Exoplanets are, put simply, just planets that don't orbit our Sun. Recent studies have found, though, that some exoplanets, rather than orbit a star, are orbiting supermassive black holes. This is also thought to be quite common across the universe, as evidence suggests that at the center of a galaxy, the supermassive black hole can pull planets into its orbit. What's more is that it doesn't stop there. Theories suggest that these planets can also be formed around these black holes. Whilst it's true that black holes are never-ending in the pursuit to consume everything around it, they can also form a ring around themselves. These rings are made of various gases and dust, but form anywhere up to 30 light-years away from the supermassive black hole itself. It is theorized that planets can be formed when a star forms. The cloud of gas and dust from around the star collapses and forms disks. These disks are then pulled together and merged by gravity. As you can probably put together, this new research suggests that the clouds formed around a supermassive black hole can create these disks and potentially, in turn, planets. These planets created around the black holes would be around 10 times the mass of the Earth and could be giant ice or rock planets. 
Also, because these planets would be formed light years away from the black hole, that there wouldn't be any strange happenings on these planets caused by the extreme gravity from the black hole. The scientists carrying out this research at the University of Kagoshima in Japan also estimate that tens of thousands of these planets could be orbiting the supermassive black holes in the centers of galaxies and even go as far as to say this could be happening in our own galaxy too. Water on Mars Could there be life? Mars is the fourth planet from the Sun in our solar system and it is also known for its red appearance due to the iron oxide present on the surface. Dubbed the Red Planet, Mars is also thought to be the next best planet compared to Earth for inhabiting humans and sustaining life. Throughout the years, Mars has been synonymous with aliens and for its potential for there to be life forms inhabiting it. Countless references within film, TV and books, all with the same theory that Mars was home to extraterrestrial life, one of the most famous being War of the Worlds. This was so much so that allegedly in 1938, when War of the Worlds was broadcast on radio, it caused panic among its listeners as they believed it to be real. For the last two decades, it has been theorised and suggested that Mars was once a planet similar to our own with rivers and lakes and a reasonable climate and that microbial life could have been living there. This is thought to be billions of years ago though. The question remains, what happened? Whilst there's not really an answer for this at the moment, there is strong evidence to suggest that water is on Mars. Through the discoveries of hydrated salts and ice sheets, however, in a water-liquid form is yet to be discovered or confirmed. A lot of evidence and research points to the existence of water on Mars, such as the findings of the European Mars Express, this craft using an advanced radar system known as MarsSys, found that Mars's south pole holds a subsurface anomaly that strongly suggests that an entire lake, thought to be around 20 kilometers across and at least one meter deep, is underneath the pole. Very recent evidence has found that there are certain places on Mars of which could potentially hold liquid water given the perfect conditions. The reason that ice water is plentiful on Mars, but currently there is no evidence of liquid water, is because Mars's atmosphere is incredibly thin. So as soon as any ice would melt, it would immediately turn to vapor. These specific environments are in the shadows of rocks and could only host liquid water during the midwinter, but nevertheless, it seems a very real possibility. Another intern resting point is, as referred to earlier, that it's thought that rivers flowed across Mars and that life on a bacterial scale at least was on Mars. But could this go further? Was Mars inhabited by an intelligent species? The likeliest scenario is that without continued safe access to the planet's surface to carry out tests and research, its history we will never know. Finding liquid water on Mars would be incredible. Not only would it prove that it can harbour life if microbes were living within the water, which would be huge, but also it would massively increase the chances of humans being able to inhabit Mars. This would be groundbreaking and would usher in a new era of human history. All the discoveries we've discussed today are definitely groundbreaking within their respective fields, but could all impact us. The research into the Abel 85 ultramassive black hole, whilst maybe it doesn't affect us directly, helps us to understand our own galaxy more. Similar to that is the exoplanets orbiting black holes, again helps us decipher more secrets of our own galaxy. Arguably the discovery with the most direct impact to us would be water on Mars. As mentioned before, it would be truly amazing, especially as scientists seem to be getting closer and closer to finding liquid water. These discoveries continue to point towards understanding the universe better and that perhaps would help us understand our own planet better. But what do you make of these three incredible space discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.